Well, the parade's just got going, and the rain's not dampening anyone's spirits. To the rousing tune of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and in the presence of the legendary car herself, Rochdale's children have turned out to celebrate. And the message is... Give peace a chance! I think it's about peace. And peace! And it's excellent! Yeah! <laughs> what is it that you're carrying here? A bird of peace. And what do you think today is about? Um, being thankful for all the people that we went in the army. It's about being quiet and not fighting. Being quiet? What do you mean being quiet? Like not fighting and arguing. This is going to start at home and just start educating people. And it's way better to start with the children. They've got to grow up knowing that it's a good idea. At midday, events took a more sombre turn. Rochdale's crowds joined millions of people around the world in a minute silence to reflect on the need for global peace. Things really kicked off in the afternoon when Nancy Delolio, football's ex-first lady, made an appearance to support a five-a-side tournament for the town's kids. I'm very proud of them. Uh, this is very, very uh, big example um, what can really be done practically for peace. The reason to be, to be here, to, say, to, to sign I'm fortunate, is even the local like this, why not? I mean, they have the courage to do something that the government can't do it. And it should be a national day. And I'm so pleased. Today has brought so many people together and the festivities in football have been great fun. But it's all been about a very serious message. Organisers here and the UN want us to consider the fragility and the value of peace and to think about what we can do at even the lowest level to support efforts to head off the devastation armed conflict causes to communities everywhere. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.